okay, my little thingy says that I'm live. So I hope that it knows what it's talking about. All right. Welcome, welcome. Y'all in the chat, tell me if you can see me and hear me. That is what I need to know. And when I get confirmation of that, then we'll just get going. Okay. Okay, Vicki says, I am here. Oh, good, this is so exciting. Okay, let me just rearrange my screens just a little bit here. Because I've got way too many open. Uh, la, la, la. Just bear with me. Give me a sec. Okay. All righty. I think that's good. Uh, oh, we have people here. <laughs> That's always one of the main things I worry about. I just don't stream often enough to, you know, be really comfortable with it, which is my own fault, right? But there are two things I worry about. I don't worry about the, you know, talking live and doing the project live. That doesn't bother me. I can do that all day long. But what I do worry about is the technical part, because like I said, I don't do it often enough to be comfortable with it. So I'm just convinced that it's either not going to work or it's going to quit working and then I won't know what to do to get it started again. You know, that freaks me out. And then the second thing, every time I'm convinced that no one will show up. <laughs> it's just going to be me and a couple of moderators for an hour and a half. <laughs> so, I, you know, I don't know why, but that's just my little insecurities. So now you know. Okay, let me run through the list real quick and see who is here. I see Arabella and Robin and Mixed Media Book Arts and Mary Lou and Hasu Robinson and hey, hey, Victor, my friend. Um, scrolling up, there's Lisa Brannon and there's Shelly and Melody and Roseanne and Teresa Ware, my good friend Teresa. Uh, Denny and Ian. Ian has been keeping your seats warm for about the past half hour, I'll have you know. So there you go. What a guy. Janet and Marsha and Cindy and Michelle and Katie and scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Okay, and hello everyone. And there's Scotty. Okay, I wanna I wanna say a huge thank you <laughs> to V A Pearl, who's Vicky Brown, to Scotty Allen to Janet and to Cindy, who have so graciously volunteered to be my moderators. Um, I appreciate y'all very much for, you know, I don't expect we're going to have any troll problems, but you may need a link now and then. So, yeah, this is good. They'll be here to help you, to give you the links that you need, or to answer any um, questions that I miss, because you know, it's really hard to keep up with the chat and doing what I'm doing. So, um, I appreciate them. Hi, Debbie and Pat and Glazerbug Dolls and more and Little Lily. Um, and there's Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary. Tobago Crafter. Um, Daniela. Oh, oh my gosh, I love your art. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Daniela is here. Okay. <clears throat> Ashley. And did I already say hi to Gina? I don't think I did. And Maggie and Elemental Designs. And Jesse. And oh my goodness. Lots of people. And lots of names. Oh, Mary Lou. Lots of names that I don't recognize, which excites me a whole, whole lot. Because 
then I can get to know some new people. Okay, happy Valentine's Day, everybody, and welcome to my live stream. Um, just a little business first. If you are watching this on YouTube after the live stream, know that it was recorded live, so occasionally I'm going to talk to people who I see in the live stream chat, which you do not see, so that will be a little strange for you. <laughs> Please just roll with it. <laughs> um, what we're going to do today is just paint some paper, just for no good reason. And um, there's still people filing in, I think. So we'll let them do that, and, and while they're still coming in, um, I have one thing I want to show you. I kept intending to make a video about this and then forgetting, so I'm going to show it here. It was some happy mail that I got a while back from Vicki Brown, and she did Carve December, which I know a lot of you did. And um, after that, she sent me a hand-carved stamp which I was just thrilled with because she does amazing carvings and it was awesome. And I opened it up and I looked at it just like this and I went, due date. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> she sent me a giant due date. <laughs> but if you look at it, this is just how my brain worked. It looked to me like D-U-E-D-A-T-E. I didn't stop to remember that, you know, it's done in reverse, and even so, it's, they're going to be going the same way, you know, that just didn't connect. I thought, it's due date. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to thank her for this, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do with a stamp that says due date. What on earth am I going to say? i got to invent something nice. I'll concentrate on the carving, because the carving is lovely, even though it's kind of totally useless to me, because I don't need a due date. And then I stamped it, and I went, oh, <laughs> the end. <laughs> well, now it makes sense. So this is what a bozo I was, try, you know, convinced that she sent me a due date stamp, when the whole time it was this gorgeous, the end. And that is just how my pitiful little nimble brain works. So thank you, Vicki, very much for the hand card. The end, not due date. I appreciate that. And, all right, let's just get started. Let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna paint some papers like this, kind of. And we're gonna use our um, liquid acrylic inks. So if you went to Hobby Lobby and you bought a bunch of the acrylic inks that were on clearance, or if you have some in your stash, um, this will give you some ideas for what to do with them. And I've got some, I've got some that I got just recently at Hobby Lobby. I got some that I bought like 15 years ago. I don't know if they even make them anymore. And then some from, you know, different sales. I've even got some calligraphy inks, some uh, metallics, and then these are the old, old kind, didn't have the dropper. So yeah, we've got all can, different kinds, different brands, but they're all basically just liquid acrylic inks. And the paper that I used on these, you want to see these? Should I do a quick flip through? Do a quick flip through. Here we go. Super simple, just kind of messy, throwing paint on paper. They can be backgrounds. You can, um, from here, you can stamp on them, or you can stencil over them, or you can use them as is. And since I did them on sticker paper, you know, they're easy to cut or tear and stick down. Um, but I did them in lots of different ways using the acrylic inks and some rubbing alcohol. So to get some of the effects that I used on some of these, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol and a spray bottle. This is a little bit overkill. <laughs> if you have a smaller spray bottle, that's fine. But just some, this is 91% rubbing alcohol, um, isopropyl alcohol, 
surgical spirits. It's, you know, it's called different stuff depending on where you live, but you know, it's that same smelly first aid kit stuff. And I did not dilute it, it's straight. And it is the 91%, which for some techniques that does make a difference because you can get different percentages. There's like a 70 something percent that's pretty common. But um, don't ask me if the work, because I don't know, because all I've got is 91%, okay? Okay. So these are full sheet stickers that I got on Amazon. And I have a little Amazon influencer shop thing where you can go and you can see some of the stuff that I'm using here if it's available on Amazon. And one of the gals can pop that link into the chat if you need it. But that will show you exactly the kind of sticker papers that I'm using. They're just a really super smooth, bright white sticker paper. But you don't have to use sticker paper. You can use any paper you want to. You can use um, old scrapbook paper. You can use magazine pages. You can use um, watercolor paper. You can use really pretty much anything that this will, this will work on. But this super smooth sticker paper is what I'm using. I also did it on, okay, you know how sometimes you get junk mail from those companies and usually they want you to send them money or something and then they'll send you this sheet of return address labels already printed with your name and address so that you know you can use the return address labels and then every time you do you'll feel guilty because you used it and didn't send them money you know those <laughs> yeah okay that's what this is and i don't remember oh it was triple a triple a sent me these want me to join triple a and then here's your address labels as a thank you i did not join triple a but by gosh i used their free address labels so here you can do this technique on here and then you can get little individual stickers. So you can do this with some of these junk mail address labels or if you just have a sheet of address labels, um, you know, that you actually use for your own labels, any kind of labels, shipping labels, whatever, just anything sticky back you can use, okay? So there's some ideas for papers and things. Talked about our paints. You might need some of what I just dropped on the floor. Some pipettes. Like so. Um, and I use these because some of my really old acrylics, the droppers don't work anymore. So you can suck them out with the little pipettes. And I'm going to be using these kinds of brushes, which I have in my Etsy shop if you're interested. You um, don't have to use this kind. You can use pretty much any kind of a, just a large, kind of a utilitarian paintbrush. You don't need anything soft, smooth, and special. You just need a workhorse of a paintbrush. You might need some cards for spreading paint. Okay. You might need, oh, drop paper. Oh, you might need some paper towels if you're messy. You know, it kind of goes without saying. But I, I would recommend that you use drop paper instead of a craft mat. You can certainly use the craft mat if that's just what you want. But if you use drop paper while you're doing this, then you end up with super cool drop papers like this and like this okay so that is a good reason for using drop papers now the reason that i'm using sticker paper is because i have a specific use in mind for these and that is to stick them onto vinyl and these are the vinyl atcs like i have in my etsy store and y'all, this is not about selling stuff today. I'm just telling you because, you know, people always want to know exactly what I used and where I got it. Okay. ATCs from my Etsy store made out of fused vinyl. The sticker paper will stick to them really, really well. And are y'all having trouble with links? Okay. Let me, let me address this right quick because I want links to work. 
and if they're not working, that is a problem. So let me take just a second and get these moderators um, set up with good links that will work to share in the chat. My links, I think all of them are down below in the video description. The Amazon shop might not be there now that I think about it. But the others should be. Well, I am just not getting anywhere. Uh, hang on just one second. Mm, oh, the links might be too long to work in the chat. See, I just don't know enough about this to even know how to help. I can't get my own links to work. <laughs> <laughs> where I'm getting, okay. <laughs> uh, how about we do it this way? Let me try one other little thing here. so that y'all can get to the Amazon one because that one's going to help. Yes, Amazon.com slash shop slash buy Shannon Green. Stitching May is on it. See, I don't even know. Um, I couldn't even find that. I really should have a better handle on that, shouldn't I? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Y'all got it figured out. All right, and the links down in the bottom in the video description, those should work for you. So we're good to go. It works from the description box. Okay, just use from the description box. Yeah, y'all figure it out. I should quit worrying about it, right? Okay. Yeah, I got that. Where was I? Oh, yes. I am using the sticker paper um, because I want to stick it to the vinyl, and it works really well, especially if you just go over it with your iron. You can use your household iron, and it just kind of helps the, the sticky on the back of the sticker paper to stick to the vinyl really good. So... Yeah, that works really well, and that's why I'm doing it. Some of this vinyl is really heavily textured, so depending on what I want to do here, that can be a problem. I mean, you can, you can paint on this, you can stamp on it, but just depending on how textured it is, the um, stamping might not come out clear. But using the sticker paper, I can decorate it beforehand, and then I know that it's going to be okay. Plus, you know, it just gives you more options right? Because I don't have to, if I don't want to stick it on the vinyl, I can use it as a background on a page or, um, you know, make something else out of it. So that is the reason for that. Um, okay, I think, I think we're ready to get started. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take some sticker paper, like so, and then make sure that I've got the paper side up. Yes, I do. And then I'm just going to go to town on it with some inks. And I have, this is my like blotter paper, and this is my regular paper. So I usually like do my background on here, and then when it gets too painty, I blot it off on here, and then this usually ends up being a cool background, okay? And I'm going to use the alcohol, too. And the reason I have it in this giant honking bottle is because the nozzle is adjustable. And if you have, like, a spray bottle that sprays really smooth and a fine mist, okay, that really doesn't work so well. <laughs> I 
if you have one that kind of spits and blobs and leaks, oh, that's what you want. That works great. <laughs> but this one is adjustable, so I can do the fine screen, which, you know, makes it all kind of blotchy and whatever. So <laughs> that is the reason for that. Oh, let's see. Where should we start? See, I did this like a week, two weeks ago, and I've already forgotten what I did. I don't even know. All right. Let's just start with some red. This is some of our recent clearance in flame red. And I am just going to fill up my dropper and then carefully apply it. Okay, just like so. And take my brush, smush it around. If I feel like I've got too much and it's all like over painty, then I can soak it up like so. And I do have like three or four brushes that I use for these color families that I use all the time. So like any shade of red, I'll use the same brush. Same with the yellow, the green, the blue. And by the way, if you're doing this kind of background stuff, when you're done, if you will just wipe all of the excess paint out of your brush, if you leave this to dry, it won't ruin your brush. It'll get a little stiff and then you'll kind of have to like do this to break it up again. But these acrylic inks are not like acrylic paint where, you know, if you leave some of it on your brush, it's going to harden and ruin. Yeah, you just get kind of the excess off. And then I, I haven't washed these in weeks <laughs> and I keep using them. So, yeah, that's one way that acrylic ink is different than acrylic paint other than just the obvious it's running. So, all right, did my red. Right now, what now? Blue. Let's just go in with some of these really dark colors because I like them. Uh, I like it when you put others on top and then these really dark ones kind of show through. So, oh, yeah, this is Brownie Blue. Put some of that on. that do this these always just look like a royal hot mess for about the first three or four layers then they get better usually when they don't there's gesso right yeah <laughs> no worries okay now I'm just kind of thinking that I want uh, another blue like this one, turquoise. Okay, our carefully applied turquoise. In much the same way that nature abhors a vacuum, I abhor white space, so I tend to overdo my backgrounds. There we go. Oh, you know what I did forget? Oh, I thought I was so prepared. I totally forgot my heat gun because I do need to dry a little bit between some of these. Give me half a second. Y'all, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Sorry. Oh, I hate dead air. 
Okay. Now, for some of these, if you're getting ready to put something on that you think might um, blend too much or get muddy, you can dry between layers. Is that way too loud and annoying? You'll tell me if the heat vent is too annoying. But I'm fixing to put some yellow on and I don't want it all to turn to green, which is what's going to happen if I put it on this wet blue paint. So I'm going to dry it a little bit because a little bit turn into green is okay, but I don't want the whole thing to be green. So you dry a little bit between layers and then the next color you put on, if it's transparent, the colors below are going to show through and you can get the illusion of blendiness or muddiness. But if it's opaque, it will sit on top as long as your other paint is dry or mostly so. And now let's use, this is yellow ochre, one of my favorite go-to colors. It just kind of fixes everything. Now, once you get several layers built up like this, this is a good time to start using the alcohol. It doesn't do much on the first two layers because most of the paint is just soaking into the paper. But now that we've got a lot of paint on the paper, some of it's sitting on top. So you can squirt it with some alcohol. And I may have to, yeah. You can kind of see that it starts sort of modeling a little bit. And you can dry it like this and keep some of that modeling. But I'm going to put a bunch more layers on there. So I'm going to go ahead and smush. Now, do you see the magic that just happened? Do you see that? I don't know if you can see it. But it just is, you know, it's basically red, yellow, and blue. It just blended just perfectly with some of the other colors. And then the yellow just sat on top in other places. And it is just gorgeous. And you can do more of this if you want it more blendy or leave it kind of floating on top. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry a little bit and then we're going to come back to it and um, see if it wants something else. I, I never know what it wants until it's had time to rest for a minute. But now we've got this one, you know, our layer sheet. I'm going to grab another one so that this can be my main sheet and this will be my squishy sheet. And I'm going to dry it. Okay, I know what I want. I want this weird, this used to be red. This is a Rutring Artist Color Transparent Acrylic. The color was red, but it was like almost empty. So, I put a little bit more of this red in there and then some white and then just because I thought it would make a difference some silver but it really didn't and so it it kind of turned out this really weird pink kind of corally pink color but it looks almost like neon and you know how cool it is when you get um, a little pop of neon in your stuff so yeah I like this so I'm going to use a little, not much, just a little bit here and there. And smoosh it out a bit. 
give it a little bit of alcohol. Oh, that's that's too. Um, there. That's my shit. Okay, Shannon, can I make Gina a moderator? Yes, I can. Okay. Let me do that right quick. I am, uh, see, this is the first time I've used moderators. My other live streams, I did not. So I had to, like, get familiar with the whole moderator process. <laughs> you know, how to make someone a moderator and <laughs> all of that. I think I've got it now. I believe I can probably fairly quickly run over and make Gina a moderator. Um, Cause I, yeah, now that I know how to do it. Okay, just one second. Got it. Save. Okay. I made Gina a moderator. At least it looks like I did on my end. I don't know if she has to go out. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at me. I feel like a rock star. <laughs> I like made Gina a moderator on the fly. That is so cool. Okay. Uh, yes, where was I? Here is where I was. I put the pink on and I'm going to dry it a bit. There we go. No making fun of my heat gun. It just seems like every time my little heat gun shows up in a video or something, someone comments and says, oh my God, Shannon, you poor thing. You need a new heat gun. <laughs> you just don't understand. This thing is 25 years old. It was like very expensive at the time, but totally worth it because it has lasted 25 years. It gets so hot, it will melt your face off but I adore this heat gun. Don't be feeling sorry for me and my little heat gun. If the day this thing dies, it's going to be a sad day. It will be, it'll be like a total blackout day on social media for me because I will be in mourning. That is how much I adore that heat gun. Okay. Now, um, I feel like this needs some lime green and I found that a really good lime green is not that one. It is this one. Uh, this one is called light green and Janet can't picture me with any other heat gun. <laughs> I can't either, Janet. And yes, it is quiet, you know, in the realm of, especially for an industrial heat gun, which it is, it's a Weller industrial heat gun. And for the heat that it puts out, I would really expect it to be a lot louder. Because I have a, like a Wagner wallpaper heat gun. Those get super hot. And you know, the nozzle on it's like that big around, but that sucker is loud. So yeah, I get along well with my heat gun. Don't be dissing, don't be hating on my heat gun there. Okay, that over. Oh, I kind of like that too. See, this is another one. I'm going to sit over here with this one, let them rest, and then see how I feel about them. That's another good thing about using sticker paper. I can stack them on top of each other because the release paper, it, it doesn't stick. If it does, it just pulls off really easily. So yeah, there you go. All right, let me get two more to go. You know what? Let's do this different. 
let's do a sheet of sticker paper and then I've got some book pages over here just some scrap pages out of a book um, Hamlet I believe and let's just use those because occasionally I like some text on my painty paper and I am gonna take a sec and see what's going on in the chat oh gosh who do we have here um, Yvette and Pat and hey Susan Hill and Joyce and Claudette Terry Abrams quiet country creations and Lucia McGill and Sin oh I'm so happy you're here you have a well or two I know right it's like the best ever um, Tania Smith and Ian is still here and Peddler's Medley, that's Sean, who says, thanks for the support. Your subs have grown like crazy. Oh, you are so very welcome. Okay, Sean, here's what I tell everybody. I usually have pretty good luck at getting people to your channel, but I can't make them stay. That's up to you. And your content is good, or I wouldn't have sent them there in the first place. So I believe you can do it. Um, there's Melissa Bishop. Hey, girl. And Lizard503 says, 147 are watching? <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that because it will make me nervous. It's Nana's Place. And, okay. Uh, Linda McCollum. Who else is a name that I did not see before? Regina Reed and Carla and Clara. Do y'all know each other? You should be friends because your name's almost the same. Uh, the Magical Touch TMT and Joanne Owens. I'm just, oh, there's Dawn. I'm just so happy that y'all took the time out of your day to show up. That really does mean a lot to me and it surprises me because, yeah. <laughs> and Jamie and Lindsay and oh Lady True North I'm so happy to see you and Mary and Marion and Marianne wow and Beatrice so cool thanks y'all I do appreciate you okay now let's do all right here's a color that I have grown to love since using it and I don't see it it's this one this is marine blue I really like this color uh, you are very welcome Maggie says she's up to 937 subscribers and your viewing hours are rising that makes me so happy so so happy Okay, this marine blue, you put it on and it's like, oh, gosh, it's awfully dark. It is dark, but it's just luscious. Oh, it almost looks like my fingernails. I don't know if you can tell, but oh, how funny. It like really is practically the same color. No wonder I liked it so much. Okay. Yeah, if you're wondering what I'm doing with polished fingernails, because, you know, that's not my usual uh, thing. They had grown out right about the time of creativation. And I thought, well, okay, I'll just polish them because I know I'm gonna be gone to the show for a week. So I'm gonna have at least one week where my hands are not covered in paint and ink or they're, they're not in water all day or, you know, messing with icky vinyl. So I'm gonna go and polish them, you know, like a grown up girl, and I did. And since I got back, um, they've just kept, you know, kept them polished just really for no reason other than I could. They haven't started breaking yet, but they're getting like claws now. It'll probably start breaking soon. So I'll have to go back to my usual short boy nails. <laughs> that really is more conducive to my lifestyle than long painted ones. 
Okay, that was that same light green that I like. Hey Barb, welcome. First time here, huh? I am so happy you're here. Okay, I'm gonna dry this, this uh, blue and green a little bit. And then I'm going to add some of that weird pink that I mixed up. So, yeah, you can mix these. Your liquid acrylics, if you start getting like really low on one, just um, mix some other colors in there and make you something new. Okay, let's put a little alcohol on that. Oh, I forgot to smush it around. Okay, let's smush it around after the fact. And squish. I'm going to embarrass her so badly. Y'all, Urban Cowgirl 777, that's Taylor. You're supposed to be working. What are you doing here, girly? Taylor has been trying forever to get me to live stream on Twitch. And I keep resisting. I'm going to try it one of these days just, you know, to get her off my back. <laughs> I just don't have a lot of confidence in it. <laughs> But I'll do it to make her happy. Okay. Now, Taylor live streams on Twitch. She does um, gaming. And, you know, cute girl gamers are like a hot commodity over there. <laughs> so, oh, you're on your 15-minute break? Okay, well, that's all right. So, anyway, she's going to... Since she's watching here, I know she's going to call later and she's going to tell me all of the things that I did wrong or could improve on, which actually I'm good with. Instead of yellow okra, which I like to call it okra, let's use this yellow this time. This is lemon yellow. All right. Just to mix it up, see what happens. Let's use a lot of it. Like that. Smush it around a little bit. And give it some alcohol. Get it all liquored up. <laughs> Take some off. Ooh. Okay, maybe that was too much yellow. There we go. That's better. Okay. Boy, the colors on my screen that I see are really different than they are in person. So, I hope that they don't look too yucky. Because, yeah, this looks really different on the screen. But, I want to add some, uh, what do I want to add here? Usually the colors I want to add are the ones that I don't have. You know, I just have like the Clarence colors, basically, which are just the ones that nobody else wanted. So that's what you're left with. And, you know, and that's okay, but it limits your choices sometimes, right? How about turquoise? 
that. Let's do some of this turquoise and see if it's going to behave or if it's just going to turn to green. Could go either way. Okay, now, and this time instead of smushing, I think I'm going to dry it like this, let it run a little, because it's got some really splotchy goodness going on. Ooh, I'm super duper liking that. Thank you, Janet and Maggie. I'm so glad you like them. Megan is lurking. She's at work. We won't tell. Vicki, first time. She's from Oz. Hello, Vicki. Good enough. Now y'all are gonna probably not gonna be able to see all the coolness that I see because I don't have my autofocus on. That you know how it constantly kind of goes wah 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 <laughs> drives me insane. But there are some really cool splotchy texture thingies happening that I really like here. And there we go. I'm going to set that aside. Here's the, the one caveat with the sticker paper. It curls like crazy. But when I'm done, I just iron them. Because, you know, it's soothing for me to iron paper. <laughs> so it doesn't bother me too much. <laughs> All right. Now, these little blotter papers look kind of cool. They just need a little help. And I know exactly what they need. They need this yummy turquoise. So you can see I'm kind of using the same colors over and over again. You don't have to have 50 colors. I mean, you can do awesome backgrounds with just like five. So don't worry if you don't have access to the Hobby Lobby sale and you can't get a good price on them. Just collect you four or five and you can still do all kinds of fun backgrounds and stuff with them. Because I've probably got 25 inks over here and I keep using the same four or five. <laughs> Okay, a little alcohol, a little smushy, and oh, that looks really, really nice. Bye, Taylor. Thank you for stopping by. Love you. Mm -hmm. I love to embarrass her as much as possible on purpose because, you know, we don't get to see each other very often anymore. So my opportunities for humiliating my child are now limited. I have to jump on them as they present themselves. <laughs> what I feel sorry for are her kids because she's probably going to torture them in much the same way I've tortured her. Oh, they won't know what's in them. I'm just cleaning off my brush. 
just because. Okay, I want to show you another technique that's fun to do. And, um, okay, let's do, let's pick some colors. Let's pick what I do with my red. This one. This is the flame red. And the uh, other not red. My homemade pink. And, okay, this purple irritates me. I've got this, it's a, one of the pearlescents, and it is called Moon Violet, which looks like a lovely color, but it just comes out mostly silver. The purplish doesn't show up well, and that bothers me, because I may end up adding something to it to get it to show up better. I'm going to put some of it on here, but I'm just not confident that it's going to do anything other than maybe make mud. So I'll take my uh, roundy blue, do a little bit here. Now I'm going to just go crazy and plop some white on here, just really carefully. like so. Give the whole thing a healthy alcohol spray and then squish it. And you can get some pretty interesting backgrounds going on like that. Cool, huh? It's a little too red, white, and blue, so I'm going to let it dry, and then maybe the purple didn't do too bad this time. I'll maybe add some more of that purple after we let it dry. Let's do some more smushies. Okay. Uh... This time, let's do blues. Let's do this blue brownie blue. And where's my buddy? Marine blue. Marine blue. turquoise and white. Like so. Alcohol. And smush. This always leaks out the ends. Those are pretty. I like that. Okay. Now, let's do some some black paper, the pearlescence would show up better. Oh, and in case you're wondering, because I get asked, and I usually get asked like three years after the fact, after I've forgotten, and then I have to go back and rewatch the video to figure out what I did. 
the drop paper that I'm using today is finger paint paper, which I got on clearance somewhere at some point, but it's kind of got a semi-glossy coating on both sides. So, and it, they're nice big sheets and it's just like, it's kids finger paint paper, which is basically almost the same thing as the expensive palette paper that you can buy in the art supply stores. But it makes lovely backgrounds. FYI. Now, let's do, let's do some weird colors. By weird, I mean ugly. <laughs> well, okay, not ugly, just not my usual repertoire of colors, such as olive green. And what is this? Sepia. My dropper's clogged. Seriously? Okay. Pipe it. This is probably going to look like camo. I have a brown brush. I do now. Okay. And hot mess. Not too bad. Okay. These are still pretty inky. I might set these aside to dry so that we don't have to just listen to the heat gun. Or maybe we do. Kiki and Debbie and Aunt Beck and Wanda and Eileen. Oh, who else did I see? I see Dawn and okay. Who is that? Cindy. Creative Trish. Hello. I really need to get um, new glasses. Hey, Veronica. Um, yeah, I need bifocals, something terrible, because I can't see far off right now or up close. So <laughs> I'm having vision issues. And my computer is positioned just far enough away from me to uh, cause a problem. Okay, let those dry a bit. And how about we use our cards and do something, something like, I don't know, let's use some yellow. Trifocals, Vicki? Yeah. It's only a matter of time, I'm sure. Claudette has to feed her grandson's bearded dragons. <laughs> that is not a statement you expect to hear every day. <laughs> Ooh, that made me laugh. Okay. Whoops. Turquoise.
I like that. Now I want my weird, my weird pink. This dropper doesn't work very well either. That is good. I'm going to do something weird, just bear with me, because I had good luck with this the other day, but I don't remember exactly how, how I did it. So, it may be trial and error. Flesh tipped. Not what you would normally think of putting on here at this point, but we're going to do it. And then we're just going to see what happens, because, you know... If it doesn't work out like it did on my other one, then there's gesso, right? Oh yeah, this is going to work. Okay. I'm just pulling off some of my excess because I got a little bit too much. Does it come off my fingers easy? It does dawn with some uh, sandpaper. It just comes right off. <laughs> I use, you know, like, you know those um, yellow and green scrubby sponges like you use on your dishes? Yeah, I use those on my hands. I just convinced myself that it's like a spa exfoliation. And then it will just come right off. <laughs> Scrub anything hard enough, it comes off. Okay, that's the weird fleshy color, which kind of tones everything down, but without covering it up or making it chalky like gesso would. And I just really, really like that. Now, I feel the need for, you know what, let's do this green. This is, what is this? Oh, I can't read it. Genesis Green, it's a pearlescent, so it's going to be very um, transparent and not add not a lot of color. And let's just see, let's just see what happens with that. Uh -oh, see, I already see I got too much. That looks really cool. Don't know if y'all can tell, but it does look super cool. It makes me want to put something else pearly on here. I know what I want to. I don't even know if there's any left in this bottle. This is an old bottle of the pearlescent liquid acrylics in Sundown Magenta. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't have a palette knife here. This is thick, but <laughs> it's not going to work. Here, maybe this will work. That'll work. Oh. 
Okay, I like that. Take off some of the excess. Oh, that's beautiful. I want to bring out a little bit more. I know y'all are going, no, stop, stop, don't do it. But it's not done until it's overdone. Don't you know? <laughs> All of the um, yellow and green kind of made my blue disappear, and I want to pull it out a little bit. So I'm just going to put in a little bit more of my favorite turquoise blue. Just so it will pop back out a little bit. And now it is perfection. Lots of layers of color happening. Oh, I love that. That's just my favorite thing to do is just keep layering and layering and layering way past the point of good common sense. Yeah. Okay, let's revisit some of the first ones we did and see if they need anything or if they're good. Oh, I think they need something. This one needs, sometimes I have to go back and look at my pages that I've already done and try to remember what I did to them to get them looking so cool. Oh, metallics. We haven't used any of the metallics. Oh, and I just remembered another technique to show you. Okay, that's what we'll do. First, metallics. I've got a couple Let's do, um, where is it? This one. I think I have a brush for it. Yeah, right here. All right, this is a Dr. P.H. Martin iridescent calligraphy color in bronze. Um, it's practically vintage because the uh, Regular price not on sale was like two dollars and ninety three cents. <laughs> you can't really buy it for that anymore. So let's see. Let's see how far we get with this. Put a little bit on. Brush it around a tad. And spray it. Oh, and it looks perfect just like that. Dry it. Are y'all still with me? We still have chat going. I've not been abandoned. Oh, good. And what time is it? Two o'clock? I didn't really want to go over about an hour and a half. So we'll do a few more. And then call it done. That works for y'all. Oh, I got some yellow on there. Oh, that's okay. We just introduced a new color. Oh, I really like the what the alcohol did on that one. That looks super cool. Okay, I'm going to call that one done. Now, this one. Yes, you're still here. Oh, thank you. Y'all are great. 
Pat says it needs something needs black. I haven't used black. I should use black, shouldn't I? Okay, we'll do a black one, but before I do that, let me show you this technique. You need a paper towel. Now you can make mud super easy doing this, so be aware. And it's kind of hit or miss. This one is completely dry. It's one of the first ones that I did. I'm just going to spray some alcohol on it. Take a paper towel and rub a little. And see how it kind of brings the colors. Uh, it wets them so that they move again. And then you can kind of fill in areas and then make it more blendy instead of blotchy. <laughs> See the difference? And that was just taking a completely dried piece, a completely dry painted section, spraying it with alcohol, and then smushing it around a little with a paper towel. Like I said, be careful because it can get muddy on you. You know, do just little small little areas at a time, but then it can just look really, really cool. And that's a good way to fill in if you've got white space, but you've got a lot of color going on. You're not sure what else to add. Don't add anything. Just move around what's already there. Now, this may be something that is specific to this paper. Like I said, this is a super smooth paper. So you may have to use a super smooth paper to get it to do this. I'm not sure. But I love the way it looks. So let's do a little bit more just to fill in some of these other areas. And soften what we've got going on. And there we go. Super easy, right? Just throw color on there, smush it around, add some alcohol, see what happens, smush it some more. Okay, set that one aside. And what else did we do earlier? Let's see if these are dry. Oh yeah, that was the one with the blue. I'm pretty much liking that one like it is. Only it needs some more pink. I wish I just don't have a good pink or purple. Um, because they didn't have any on clearance. I've got this pink, but it's a little bit of a beast because it's thick. I'm just going to go with this pink. I'm going to add just a teeny tiny little bit here and there, like that. Smushed it quite a bit, actually. Oh, I don't even want to add any alcohol to that. I just kind of like it the way it is. Oh, yeah. That was just exactly what that needed. Okay, this little guy needs, hmm, I wonder what would happen if I used this extremely, a oh, black splatter, oh black, I was going to use black, okay, let's use black, I've got black, Huh, what do I want to do with the black? I don't want to drip it. I'm just kind of, kind of not really over the dripping. It's just, I'm tired of dripping. 
A little running and dripping is good, but I just don't want to throw a lot of drippage. Um, I'm wondering if I can do something like this. Kind of just dip my brush into the black and then oh it's splattery okay I tried to figure out which splatter keeps it from going absolutely everywhere and it, it doesn't matter it's going everywhere anyway my goodness can you see it <laughs> my computer screen has black splatters all over it <laughs> I hope I didn't get any on the camera. <laughs> it's in the name of art. <laughs> this is really not the right brush for the job, but it's all I have at the moment. I did not prepare for splatters. Let's let that dry. And then while it's drying, I'm going to, I'm just going to do this and see what, what happens. Probably not much because this paper really soaks up the black. Oh, I didn't have a blotter paper ready. Okay. Well, it just kind of looks like a big bruise, a wound or something. And it's okay. We'll add more to it and see what happens. What else can we do with black? I could put some in here. We can do a, uh, let me shake this up a little better. a really thin couple of lines and do this oh I like that good use of black right there Okay, and we have, what else do we have? Oh, another one of these. We did black, you wanna use white on this one? forget we can always do our uh, white uh, you know on wax paper you can use liquid acrylics for that or regular acrylic I just love that so much better than gesso. Okay, what else? This is our black splatter has not really dried. Okay. 
And these are still kind of sticky. Yeah, these look too red, white, and blue to me. There's that little tiny piece of purple, which did okay, so I'm wondering if I add some more, if it'll be okay. Let's just find out. There's purple. Alcohol. Straight smush. Well, not too bad. Oh. <laughs> Oops. So now I want pink. You know what? I'm going to try this pink because I can just make a blob and smush it, right? I'm going to add a little water or alcohol. And that did not help my problem. But I'm gonna make it work. Okay. Well, getting there. Still not where I want it. But I think I know what I want. I think I want this blue. That was a little more than I intended, but it's all right. That was a lot more than I intended. You know what? I'm just going to go with it. Yeah. Okay. That actually turned out pretty good. Because next I want some lime green. And then I'm hoping that you'll be able to see all of these dark, bright colors underneath kind of poking through the lighter ones. That's the plan anyway. We'll just see how that goes. Where's my light green I like? Uh, yes, this one. It's called Creatively Enough Light Green. I want it there and there. Yeah. 
Oh, I love that. Okay, now I want my yellow ochre right here. Just a little there. A little there. Just a tad. Oh. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I did not have high hopes for this one, but it has really turned out nice. So pretty and just layers and layers and layers of color. Lots of depth. Oh, I like that. Okay. Set you over there to dry. Now, I have these two. This will probably be the last ones I'll mess with. They're really kind of pretty, just like they are. But I'm thinking this might be a good place to use just some straight up black. Not a whole lot. Just, just a little, 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 And then up and up and up. Pop, pop. Wait, 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 wait. Here, wait. Here. This, this, this. Oh! <laughs> Fixed! Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, it was the old unplug it, plug it back in thing. All right, sorry about that. Technical difficulties. See, and that's one of the things that I worry about most because I'm never quite sure if I'm going to be able to fix it. So, by the grace of God, we got it fixed. Now, I was just fixing to... Uh, yeah, spray some alcohol on this black and then smush. 
and see what happens. See what kind of mess we can make. Oh, but now I'm back on autofocus and it's going to do the zoom in, zoom out thing. Let me, let me uh, undo autofocus so that we don't have all of that excessive zooming. Okay, done. All right, now. Oh. Ew, that kind of purdy. Actually, I want to spray a little bit more. Is it too dry? No, oh, I think it is. I was hoping maybe I could get it even a little bit modelier or whatever. But it looks like it's. Oh. oh, this just made me all kinds of happy. Dry, 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 dry. Okay, now if you didn't realize it before, this is like a prime example of I never know what in the heck I'm doing because I'm like, oh, oh, look, <laughs> I accidentally did something cool. <laughs> I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. <laughs> I really, really like that. Okay, so let's see what we have. We've got these two. We've got some weird, um, well, I didn't even finish that one. Hmm. Some weird scrap sheets. We've got, love this one, the neon green. And our splatters. And our swipe with a card. And the drippy blue. And the um, smooshed with a paper towel. You should be writing down all of the fancy names for these techniques. And the uh, swipe with a card. And here's one with some metallic. Is that, oh, you know what we didn't finish? These got shoved to the bottom. <laughs> Our brown and green, our camo weirdness. All right. Well, I can't leave till I finish these. Okay. The paper curls. If you are just tuning in, I'm using full sheet sticker paper, but you can use anything. But the, the sticker paper does tend to curl when it dries. Now, all right, where do we want to go with these? This has got olive green and a little sepia. I can do some of the metallic bronze, maybe save that for on top. I've got, I've not used this one. Burnt Umber, this is going to be like a dark brown. Maybe I'll do this kind of like I did that um, black on that other one. But a little bit more. Okay. A little bit of alcohol and some gentle smushing. A little bit more alcohol. Oh, now we have some, now we have some coolness happening. You know what? I'm going to leave that just like that. And then we'll add something else. Because I like this. Maybe it should smush a little bit more.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now I've still got my weird model-y texture thing. And some richer color. What other color haven't I used? Maybe that'll be what this is. Use up the colors you haven't used yet. This is Antelope Brown. And it looks like a greenish brown. It may just be more of the same of what I've already got happening, but we'll try. Oh, seriously? Another dropper that doesn't work. Okay. I bet. That's what I should have used for my black splatters. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. Alcohol. Smush. And... Yeah, kind of more of the same. Just more brown. Which is definitely not a bad thing. These inks dry pretty fast, fortunately. I think we need more green. Okay, we did the olive. We did not do this one. Sap green. Okay. Let's do just a little sap green like that. I think I want to brush it out a little bit. That's a pretty green. It's a rich green. Ah! Ooh! I like that. The smushing made it all kind of um, almost dendritic. Very cool. Ooh, it almost almost looks like a, a landscape with trees and junk. Oh, I really like that. I didn't think I would. I do. I want just a little bit of a neon just cause. I know, I know, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Go back in with a little bit of our light green, like just around the edges and one little blob in the middle.
and smush. Oh yeah. I like that. That's a happy little landscape. Sorta. Of. Or camo or something. Something earthy. I still think it wants some uh, of this bronze. Yeah, it does. It's speaking to me. It says bronze. Bronze. Just a bit. I'm gonna move it a little bit. And Those are gorgeous. Okay, so even even my not favorite colors ended up looking pretty darn cool with just a bunch of layering and smushing. Awesome. Okay. That should do. Anything else you want to see? Because I think I have just shown everything that I wanted to show. And I'm going to have some super cool um, drop paper too. Oh yeah, like this is, <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> all right, I think that's all I have in me for today. Um, let's take a peek at the chat and let's see who is who. Who has managed to stick with me? <laughs> Stitch and May. Woohoo! Hey, Connor. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy Connor says hi. Tell him I said hi, and and uh, I'll talk to him at bedtime. Um, let's see. Marianne, watching and listening makes you so happy. It makes me happy that it makes you happy. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's look and see if there's anybody. Raven, did I say hello to you? I don't recall saying hello to Raven or Jillian. Um, West Virginia Vloggers, Skinny Cat Crafts, and Shannon Grimes, Debbie Riddick, Tori Swanson, Lanella Maxwell, I'm so happy to see you, and Cass. Uh, did I miss anyone else? Carrie Thomas, Vicki Ross, hey girl, and Roberta's Artistic Adventures, Ada, and Jan, Roseanne, oh my goodness, y'all have just been, y'all have been chatty today, that's really good, okay. All right, any questions I can answer? Anything else? 
oh girl don't worry about being late and this i'm recording i'm pretty sure youtube is recording someone's recording so um yeah you can just catch up on the whatever you missed later i am so glad you enjoyed it thank you so much thank you have at it Barb Owen was here and I missed her. Oh, dang. Eclectic Collections. Hello, Nancy. Hi. Okay. And there's another Gina. We have, oh, and Franna. Hey, Franna. And Kimberly and Mary Ellen. And Danita and Marsha. And Marion and Mrs. Mrs. Gigi. And Charlene, well, y'all all kind of snuck in on me. Okay, y'all, thank you so very much for uh, being here, for watching, for chatting, for hitting the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're interested. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And um, thank you again for being here. I think that's all I have. I don't really... Yeah, I have nothing else. Oh, you know what? Let me sign off. Let me sign off properly if I can find my um, my oh story of my life. I get an idea, and then I can't find the stuff to make it happen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, where's my? Let's just see. Let's see what happens. Okay, ready? I bet I did it upside down because I always have it turned toward due date. Nope, I did it right side up. <laughs> the end. Thanks again, y'all. Bye.